Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. This is Pageant Cast TV, and I'm with Miss Nevada International. Catherine, thanks so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. Welcome. Thank and you. How do you like Chicago so far? I love Chicago. We've been touring around and seeing some really great sights, and the city seems to be happy to have us here, and I'm yeah. loving it. And welcome. certainly Chicago is much more exciting than anything in Nevada like Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it really depends what you're into. Who says oh. one's better than the other? By the way, the thing that's been happening out there that's called rain. Yeah, yeah, we're, so, you know, yeah we're not familiar with that. Yeah, not, not too at often. All. Not, not too, too much. often. It doesn't. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, d tell me about your platform, Catherine. Uh, my platform is Declaration for Health and Happiness, where I inspire the young and the young at heart to live their happiest and healthiest life and their best life. All right. Yes. Now, how did you get started with that? Uh, well, actually, those are just my beliefs in general. Of, um, I think everybody has challenges in life that they're dealt with, and I think it's really important to make sure that you're um, dealing with the problem, obviously but also deciding how to deal with it past then. So if we would choose to deal with it from a positive way or a negative way, and I think out of the two choices, positive way is a lot more fun. So I really want to spread that message to other people, and I work with an organization called Project Shiro. We are... Um, linked up with the Boys and Girls Club, so we do work with the national organization and share different programs in order to raise uh, children's self-esteem. Now what type of appearances have you had this year? Um, I've had all kinds of. I have, I've had some fun ones on TV, I've got to be a judge in a couple other different contests. Oh. Um, I've done a lot with the American, Red, American Heart Association and Go Red for Women. I was able to be a speaker at one of their luncheons and I've uh, done a lot of stuff with the Boys and Girls Club so, and continuing to keep doing more. I've done a lot of appearances. <laughs> That's great. It is great. Well, you got a lot of uh, rehearsals tomorrow and today you got the rest of the day off so you can That's have some fun. That's what I hear. Fun. That'll be catch, great. Either that or catch up on sleep. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> well, we'll let you get back to it like, right away. Thank, Thank you. you so yeah, much and you. best of luck Pleasure. and success. This is Pageant Cast TV, and I couldn't be more excited. We have Whitney. She is Miss Washington International. How are you, Whitney? I'm good. How are you today? Fantastic. You're out here in Chicago competing for the Miss International title. In the sticky uh, weather? Yeah, it's been very humid and hot. And Definitely. It, has it affected your hair? Uh, duh. Okay. And my hands. My hands are all sticky. I'm like, ugh. Uh, well, it's better. Well, it's a little bit cooler today. The rain yeah. kind of came and out. The lightning but last week. Yeah, it was it was exciting. It definitely was exciting. Yeah. So, uh, tell me, what is your platform, Whitney? My platform is called Make a Choice, Use Your Voice, uh -huh. and it's promoting voting in young adults because I feel like not enough eighteen to twenty-nine year olds really know what's going on. Okay. In politics and. You know, hey, only eighteen to twenty year olds? Because I'm kind of thinking no, it's the whole eighteen shoot to twenty-nine. Right. Okay. No, I mean just like just younger adults. They're not mm -hmm. people that don't aren't involved when they're younger or less involved to be or less um, likely to be involved when they're older. Right. Okay. So I'm just trying to start that in the younger group so we can carry it on to okay. future generations. Now, have you done many appearances involved? Oh yeah, I've done lots of appearances. Gone to different high schools and middle schools places like that and it's basically starting locally. I went to my state capital and I'm pushing for voter registration booths to be put on high schools so that when kids 
are 18 because almost all seniors turn 18 um, by their senior year. Right. Um, I just want to educate them on that and then give them the opportunity to walk right out of their assembly, walk right out of their school, and go vote. Okay. So, how did you get started with pageants? Um, I was president of my high school. And I got approached. President, did you did you make decrees? <laughs> no. I always wanted. I just wanted to sign things. things. You signed things. Oh, that's fun. Did you have a nice pen? I had a nice pen and a nice signature. Okay, good. Right. Okay, but okay, I'm so, sorry. No, no, let me think now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So before the fat guy interrupted me, uh, okay, go ahead. Um, I was president and. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get started in pageants? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, I, <Take> spoke, <laughs> I spoke at my graduation, um, okay. and a former Mrs. Former Mrs. International um, came up to me and said, I think you would do really good in this like, system. Yeah, you're a super passionate person, and she said, you're good looking. <laughs> So I said, okay, that's how Fantastic. I got into it. And next thing you know, you're in Chicago. And next thing I in know, the middle of all this crazy. Next thing I know, I'm here with 45 beautiful ladies. Well, fantastic. Well, I wish you the best of luck and success, and enjoy the day off. And uh, we'll see you around. So thanks a lot. This is Pageant Cast TV, and I'm so excited because I have a representative from Illinois for the Miss International competition, Aubrey. Thank you for coming on the program. Well, thank you for having me. I, now, you're the you're the hometown. I'm the you're hometown in, state. I got the hometown advantage. Now, are you in Chicago itself? Or I am. I'm in the okay. suburbs, out in Payless Heights, okay. uh, about 45 minutes away. So very close to home. Fantastic. Are you enjoying all the rain? I am. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> we, not to have the heat. We needed rain. Yeah. yeah. True. Downtown's not good for the hair and the. Sweating. Right. We had a lot of humidity the last few weeks, yeah, so it it's bad, been so. a nice respite yes. from that. So I have to ask you, how did you get involved in pageants? I got involved 10 years ago. I got a little flyer in the mail, started out just doing them for fun. Um, the international system was actually my first Miss Pageant, so it's very near and dear to my heart. So. Well, and, and you did very well. You yeah, very yeah, well. hopefully. A lot of excitement, and you went and just did your interviews. Just did the interview. I'm not going to ask you about that because, you know, the judges are sneaking around. They're, they're walking so, around. Yeah. yeah, so we have to be careful. But I can ask you, <laughs> yes. I happen to know when the questions they ask. Oh, they do. Yes. Okay. What's what your it? platform? <laughs> My platform is the Prevent Cancer Foundation, and I serve as a spokesperson for the Project Early Awareness, which educates young girls in high schools and communities about breast and cervical health, the vaccines, tools, and skills they can use now to help them lead a cancer-free future. Okay, and how did you get involved in that? Um, I got involved in that. I had a personal experience um, with myself when I was 17. I did have a lump in my breast, and so it just really taught me that we need to be proactive in our defenses, and we can't wait till we're 40. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm awful glad that you're working on that. Thank you. Um, how did you prepare for the pageant? Uh, well, I did a lot of working out. I did yeah, a lot obviously. of work. <laughs> I did a lot of work on my platform, um, and also my evening gown was a wonderful choice. I actually work for MacDougall, so uh, ah. I'm surrounded by them all day, um, and they've been so supportive um, from my boss to Mac to the photographers. So they've really helped me prepare for this too. It's been a wonderful blessing. Well, fantastic, and I'm sure they'll be cheering you on. Yeah, they will be here. They will. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, Aubrey, it's been wonderful to get to know you a you little too. bit. You too. Thank you very here, much. And, uh, we wish you the best of luck and success and enjoy the next 200 hours of rehearsal time. They, we're actually all have. free today. No rehearsal. Uh, yeah, that's what they're saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I, you do, is that you are going to be a team. Team, right? team prelims tonight. Okay, yes, we're we going to get a couple attending. photos okay. together. Sounds all right. good. Great. Thank you. Thank you. This is Pageant Cast TV, and we are so lucky. We get Cassie <laughs> yes. from Indian, I want to say Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana. You're not, what part of Indiana are you from? Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. Yes. All right. Then near the top of the state? Or? Yes, yes, it's northeast. Northeast, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm terrible at geography. <laughs> I, I know Indiana is like a state, right? Yes, yeah. Indiana is okay. a state. It's next to Illinois. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not that 
that horrible. So, okay, fantastic. Now, you're competing in the Miss International yes, pageant. Yes, I am. Here in Chicago, Illinois. What got you started in pageants? Well, I had done a pageant when I was in high school, mm-hmm. and then after I graduated high school, I went on tour with a nonprofit organization, and I decided after that that I needed to have a little bit more fun, and okay. I had worked with a uh, organization when I was on the road that I wanted to continue to work with as part of my platform. Is, is that your platform now? Tell us about your platform. I am a child advocate for Compassion International. Okay. And they're a wonderful organization that sponsors children um, around the world in 26 different countries and re- releases them from poverty by okay. giving them food, water, education, whatever they need. So have you done appearances based on that? Oh, I've done many appearances. Okay. I've helped to get 67 children sponsored so far with my title as well, Miss Indiana. congratulations. Thank you. That's wonderful. Now, is pageantry big in Indiana like it is in Texas or some of the other states? I'm not sure if it is, but I've met a lot of wonderful girls that have run in other pageants. Um, and I know that there's, there's a good strong amount of girls that are there that want to be a part of pageants. So I wouldn't say it's huge, but... Right. Now, how did you prepare for the pageant? Oh, my director, um, she was so great. Like, Mm -hmm. she gave me endless amounts of resources, and I also made sure that I was involved with my platform, and I was working for it. Well, fantastic. Well, we wish you the best of luck and success in the pageant. Oh, and thank you very enjoy much. Enjoy the 100-hour rehearsal that <laughs> yeah. they'll still be putting you through. That's going to be great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll see you Have a good day. in the lobby tonight. Yeah. Okay, great. This is Pageant Cast TV, and we are here in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm with Allison. You're the representative for the District of Columbia. Yes, I am. For uh, international pageants, Miss International. So, Allison, how did you get involved in the international pageant system? Well, I actually got involved when I was out at an at an event and the Miss DC International from the previous year was there and I started talking with her about the different things that she got to do during her reign and I love the system about the focus on community service and the different opportunities that she had so I thought well I'm gonna go and try it next year so I definitely went and tried it and won the pageant. Fantastic (laughs) well tell me a little bit about your platform. Well my platform is Epidemic Rx Vaccinate Yourself Against Prescription Drug Abuse and it's a focus on on teaching, education, making awareness about prescription drug abuse for all ages because it's something that affects children all the way up to adults. Fantastic. How did you get involved in that? Well, I'm actually a pharmacist and so many times people come into my pharmacy and they are not really taking their medications correctly. So Ah. after talking to them and educating them, I noticed that there was a huge need because there are not really any national programs that completely focus on prescription drug abuse. So what I did was I partnered with drugfree.org and I started going, getting out in the community and talking about prescription drug abuse. Fantastic. And I I know this is a big deal with uh, police organizations. Yes. as well because yes. it's becoming quite a little industry it, and becoming, skittling and all that good stuff. Yes, it's, it's horrible. becoming a billion dollar industry that they're making more money off of black market prescription drugs than they're making off of marijuana, cocaine and other illicit drugs. Yeah, it's it's mm-hmm. bad and uh, folks shouldn't do it. The website again? Well, the website of my partner organization is drugfree.org, and okay. then also I have several websites. My website is allisonlhill.com, and then I also have a blog that I talk about different educational matters relating to prescription drug abuse. That is allison Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. And thank you for coming out. We wish you the best of luck thank and success you. in your pageant.